I think that Pakistan has been quite successful in mobilizing international public opinion against the Indian actions in occupied Jammu and Kashmir since 2019. Uh, we have had the Security Council meet on the issue on three occasions. Uh, we have reports from the High Commissioner for Human Rights asking for an inquiry commission. We have 20 special rapporteurs of the Human Rights Council who have asked India for access to occupied Jammu and Kashmir to investigate the violations of human rights in Jammu and Kashmir. And we have had several confirmations and affirmations from the Islamic Conference and from other fora in support of the right of self-determination of the Kashmiri people. Uh, as far as India is concerned, uh, it is not relying on any rule of law or, or any precept of justice in trying to impose its rule in Jammu and Kashmir. It is relying purely on the use of force and repression against the Kashmiri people to uh, solidify, consolidate its occupation of Jammu and Kashmir and, this, and the steps it has taken internally on with regard to the change of its constitution are all steps designed by India to unilaterally impose its will on the Kashmiri people. Therefore, at the political level, at the diplomatic level, we have considerable support, but India is relying completely on the brute use of force in Jammu and Kashmir. And that, of course, uh, is a reality uh, that the Kashmiri people are facing, but they have not accepted the changes and the repression that India has imposed in occupied Jammu and Kashmir. And our stance, the stance of Pakistan and the OIC and the international community on the issue of Jammu and Kashmir has not changed. The UN Secretary General is committed to the statement which he made on the 8th of August in 2019, which says that the Jammu and Kashmir issue has to be resolved in accordance with the UN Charter, the UN Security Council resolutions and bilateral agreements. That is also Pakistan's position. And therefore we think we have, we have international support. The question only is India is using brute force. Uh, and that is something that is a reality and we have to face that. There, well, you know, two, two points. First of all, countries will promote their bilateral relations in their own national interests. So they have trade interests in India and so on and so on. And they, they will obviously promote those interests. We, I, I think it would be unreasonable for, for us to say, don't do that. On the other hand, these countries also continue to support our principal position on Jammu and Kashmir in repeated resolutions of the OIC. Uh, and they, they continue to support our position with regard to Jammu and Kashmir. The question is, obviously, what more can we ask them to do. Uh, and there, of course, it's an issue of diplomacy, it's an issue of what actions we ourselves are taking and what is happening in the ground in Jammu and Kashmir. So one has to see um, the relationship uh, we have with the OIC countries, we have to see uh, their actions in context. And in the context of the international realities, I think what they are doing, what they have extended their support and continue to extend their support to us, that is a positive uh, step and a positive action that we must appreciate.